this um i think we have one hour and 30 minutes scheduled for that so i will try to do one hour lecture um, and in about 20 30 minutes i will show you uh, frag pipe it's a platform that we developed it's a comprehensive computational data analysis platform i will show you a few things there um, i have some data uh, that i can uh, run i can do tmt i can do dia i'll probably do tmt i understand that maybe you haven't uh, learned about tmt yet or some of you, um, but at least I'll give you um, an example, one example of how you run these tools from from start to finish, basically. Now, um, first a few introductory slides again uh, before I jump more into the data analysis um, issues and solutions. So uh, when we work with this data, we need to get a, a big picture, and the big picture here is that we have a lot of steps in the process. We start with sample preparation, where we start with cell lysates or tissues. Um, we optionally do uh, steps such as PTM enrichment, and I'll get back to PTMs at, at various parts of my presentation, PTMs, post-translational modifications on proteins. We have sample preparation um, um, after that, such as trips and digestion, um, liquid chromatography, and so on. And then we have a, a mass spectrometry step um, um, well, there is a lot of things that it asks me to do. Um, and then we have tandem mass spectrometry to require mass mass data, and we have many different modes how we can collect the data. We have DIA, we have DDA, we have the wide window. I cannot, I'm, I'm not going to overwhelm you with all these different choices. I'm going to stick to sort of a conventional way, uh, data-dependent acquisition, and I'll make a few comments about DIA, data-independent acquisition, and data analysis. At at a few places in my presentation. But once we acquire the data, we need to identify peptides, we need to quantify them. Uh, and once we uh, have quantitative uh, protein level measurements, uh, or maybe site level if it's a PTM analysis, we go to the next steps of um, enrichment analysis, mapping to pathways, differential analysis, PCA, volcano plots, and all of that. And actually in my presentation at the end, I'm hoping to go all the way from raw mass spec data to a PCA.